Right, hello fellow engineers. So I'm giving City Skylines a go this week. And to be honest, it's a game I've been trying to pluck up the courage to play if you like. I don't know, I feel it's very similar to my day job. But that could be a good thing. So yeah, I've been wanting to play City Skylines for quite a while now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna this is gonna be the start of a little a little series anyway. I'm gonna build a city and each week or whatever, each episode. We'll slowly be adding more to it. And yeah, as we sort of work through, I'm going to be talking about like, I guess how it compares to like real life. So to start with then, let's have a look. We're just going to pick a sort of one of these simple starter levels. Oh, you can make it left-handed traffic. Oh, I can make it British. I'll leave it American. Don't worry, Americans. Right, so I'm going to be starting this one on the Two Rivers map. And the city name. Oh. My first ever city, what can I call it? Engitopia! Right, so this is Engitopia. <laughs> Where engineering dreams come true. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into this. So this is our level, so what do we have? We've got, oh, we got a fat ass river, look how wide that is! There's a little dock over here. Ooh, it's a bit destroyed. So we've got a highway that comes in here. Nice little slip off, slip on. Right, so first things first then, we got to build a road, so... No, so we've got three lanes coming in. I don't think at the start of the game... Yeah, you can't do anything like that. We're literally just on normal roads. Right, so I'm going to take a road. I'm going to use this two-lane, one-way road. And we're just going to do like a loop and end up back there. All right, so we'll go from there. And I want to keep these roads like perpendicular. You don't just want to come out like at an angle because then you're just going to have like a kink in your road, which is not realistic in the slightest. So I'm going to sort of click there for the middle and then curve again over to here. And then we'll just loop that back up there. And then we got a one way like loop the whole way around. So I'm going to take a straight road. I think somewhere in the middle, we'll just go so that's one way. I might actually make that one two-way. So if I use this upgrade road tool. Yeah, so if I do that, then it means people coming out of here, they all have to go left, but people can come in. So we've got two ways across the middle. I might add a few more, so I might do another one there, another one there. Alright, so this is going to be a sort of residential area. So if I just paint all that with these. So now, hopefully, people start moving in there. I'm going to start putting shops sort of at the end. So these are low density commercial zones. I'll do them either end. So people have a bit of a choice where they can shop. I will join these up as well. So if I go back to the road. Actually, I don't think I want a crossroad. I feel like crossroads are a bit dodgy. So we'll keep it with T-junctions, which means I'll just stagger this a bit. So I'll do one there. Maybe one there. Okay, so the next thing, all these people are going to want electricity. Well, and water. Let's have a look at water first. So we've got water pumping station, which gives people drinking water. And we've got the sewage. Which, unfortunately, we've got to pump back out to the river. So if we take that, we can see what way our water's flowing. So these arrows, we're flowing that way. So this is where we get our drinking water from. So obviously we're going to want this upstream. And our sewage one downstream. Because obviously you don't want your sewage coming out and then going into your drinking water. So they're both done. I should be able to link these together. And then take our drinking water up to here. So I'm going to go... I'm just going to go straight through for now. So in real life, with pipes and stuff, you kind of... you want to keep them under roads. Because obviously if there's a problem, say there's a blockage or a leak or something, and you've got to dig up that pipe. You don't want to be going through people's houses. So I'm going to try and keep that realistic in that all of our drainage lines will go under the carriageways. Alright, and I'm pretty sure in this game the pipelines that I've just laid, they do both like drinking water and the sewage. So I think we're all good. Now we just need some electricity. We can use a wind turbine. So on this wind turbine, actually, the, the sort of strong wind is on this ridge, which is quite good. So they'll both be powering it themselves now. But I do need to get electricity up there. I might just bung a third one in the middle. It's 
now they're all combined so I can use the old pylons and if I take these up along this edge I kind of want to keep this out the way right so we got water sewage and we got three wind turbines powering then our pylons are going to take our electricity up to here where if we just do some zoning so hopefully once these start being built it should all link up in terms of electricity so now we can press play all right so we can see we're actually building now so these are our first residents our first houses and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna like name some of these areas and i'm gonna use my patreon names for that i thought it might be a nice little bonus well patreons and youtube members so any of you guys you'll get your own sort of district once i get around to it i probably won't do it straight away i don't know if i can i can rename roads as well okay that's cool that's cool we'll probably do that in a later episode but for now i just sort of want to start growing this and we'll see what happens so in terms of like the real life design of highways like this is completely different like <laughs> i wish it was this easy i really would i mean firstly you never just get a massive flat area that you want to build a new road through and sort of main concern when designing a road kind of is um like balancing the cut and the fill so say we're putting this road through a hill so there's a big hill here obviously to get that road in at level without it going up the hill and then back down again you're gonna have to like cut some of the material out of the land i don't know if there's is there an area where i can show you that not really these are all quite smooth hills so it follows the ground I guess over here is a little bit, so the opposite of that, say there's like a dip in the ground and your road wants to go a bit above it. Can you see like down here, the road's been built up? So this is what we call an earthwork, like this slope. And obviously you've got to get the ground from somewhere. And ideally you don't want to spend money like trucking in like earth and material from other places. So what you try and do when you design a road is you try and balance out the amount of, this is called fill. The amount of fill you have and the amount of cut you have so cut would be the opposite of that so it's where the existing ground would be higher than the road and obviously you've cut the road out if that makes sense so that's sort of like the first thing you look at when you're designing like your route and we'll get into all the other stuff in later episodes i don't want to bore you too much <laughs> straight off but yeah so this game is sort of it should be my bread and butter really like especially the road designs like that's what i've been doing for the last eight years pretty much i've done all, all sorts like little junctions roundabouts motorways so we should be able to make this sort of fairly realistic so right so let's see how we're getting on so down here we got our little milestones so we can see we're aiming for a population of 420 <laughs> is that intentional or <laughs> and we're getting there and we unlock some we can tax people we can take loans out oh we can do the garbage all that sort of stuff Right, so we're getting a high demand for industry and offices. And I know we don't really want to mix this. So what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to sort of come off this road and start a new... So I want to keep all of this residential. I don't want them to mix too much. So I'm going to build a new junction. I don't really know the best way of doing this, if I'm honest. But, so we want the one way still. No, I do want the one way. I think we want two way, actually. So do a little junction... Yeah, and what I thought we'd do, we'd sort of, away from this sort of residential area, we'll start doing our industrial sort of area. Actually, I might do this a bit more curvy. So I'm going to keep the, like, sort of straight road there. But I want to, so let's do a curved road. And what we'll do, we'll go, say, from there. Yeah, I reckon we'll do that sort of thing. Yeah, so I think that's quite cool. A little bit of a different sort of shape going on. Alright, so this is our little industrial estate. So we're going to mark up the industrial zone. So we'll paint all these up. And guys, have you got any like tips for me? Like, please let me know in the comments. Because as you can probably tell, <laughs> I am super new to this. So not entirely sure if I'm doing any of this the best way possible or anything. But yes, they're growing. I think they're going to want electricity and water so for the water again we'll stick under the highway oh we don't have enough money let's just have a look at our money situation so we are making money so i'll just speed up the time oh no we're losing money 
That means I'm going to have to tax people. So, can I tax people? Ah, I need a population of 420 before I can tax people. Alright, so I just brought the budget down for the electricity and water. Because we're not using all of it yet. So if you go in here, you can see electricity available is huge. Water available is huge. So I'm probably filled with them a bit more actually. I'll go down even more. Alright, so electricity is pretty bang on. Or oh, it might be going a bit too low now. Yay! And we made a little hamlet. Oh, look at the fireworks. Ah. <laughs> Sweet. So we're getting there. I'm just going to quickly patch these up. So I'm just going to do a pylon. Alright, so I've just done some pylons between. Once we build between those two, I can get rid of the pylons. So I'm going to take our water just under the road. Right, so we've got our industrial area over here. Oh, we've got some big old factories going in. I'm going to put some sort of shops in just along here. Just trying to link stuff up. Right, so annoyingly, it's raining, which isn't very nice. <laughs> it's a bit miserable, isn't it? So let's just have a look at our water stuff. So you can see river clearly flowing this way. Water coming in, allowing all of our citizens to drink. And over here, the old sewage coming out. Not nice, but unfortunately, that's how it works. So in the UK, there's a lot of combined sewers still left over. We don't build them anymore, but like back in the day, that was like pretty standard and a combined sewer would just it would have all your rainfall so all this rain coming down would land on the road go into a gully into your drainage system then also all your sewage from your houses and buildings and stuff that would go into the same system then essentially if it rained too hard like that water so the rainwater and sewage combined would um it have like overflows and those overflows out fall into your river so that's looking pretty dirty already isn't it that's not nice Alright, so anyway, let's just have a little look at our houses. Oh, they're asking for some sort of trash. So what I'm going to do, I've now got a trash. Oh, garbage. So yeah, if I put this over here somewhere. So now you can see all these people on green, like all the green roads. That's all accessible via our trash area. And it's sort of the middle of the map. So I'm hoping that should be able to get most people sorted. Blimey, it's like full already. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Yep, they're heading out. See you guys. Oh, and then look at this. We got a big old lorry carrying logs. Oh, <laughs> that was quite good. Uh, quite a good turning circle that for a big old HDV. Right, so we've got our sort of shitty shops down here. What have we got here? Go nuts, donuts, and some furniture in there. Nice. We've got pennies. I'm guessing that's sort of a restaurant-y type place. Right, everyone's kicking off about garbage, but I thought, oh, I tell you what, actually, because this is one way, people are, well, the garbage trucks have to go all the way around to get to there. So what I might do, I might put a junction in, two-way road from here, just do a curvy one. I'm going to, I'm going to destroy someone's house, so sorry about that. But we'll just put that in, there you go, and you can see there's a garbage truck going down there already now. So sorry for destroying your houses. <laughs> But uh, it's the greater good, isn't it? All right, so I'm gonna put a few more how on oh no, it, a few more houses along here. All right, so it looks like we're actually filling up quite nicely. Most of our plots are sort of taken now. We've got some nice little houses. Oh no, don't we got a donut truck? Whoa! All right, so I think traffic's looking all right as well. I was a bit worried about this junction. I thought people might always turn in here. There's a lot of parked cars going on, but it looks all right to me. And we are about to become a worthy village, which is very exciting. And then we get, oh, we get quite a lot in here. We get police stations, different industries, fire department, police department, cool. All right, so I can see down here, there's a medium demand for industry and offices. So, oh, and our electricity's going. Where's our electricity? Let's wang that up a bit. So I'm gonna start building up here and just sort of extend what I was doing before. I think we'll keep the old curves going on. I quite like that. Oh, and we are finally a worthy village. Excellent. So we got a load of stuff to unlock now. So I think taxes, you might up these just a little bit. Let's say 11% for everyone. I mean, in the UK, I think it's like, it's like 20%, 17 and a half, 20%, which is a lot of money. I'm, I'm not that greedy by any means, but um, 
We'll up it a couple of percent just so I've got some money because I'm building a lot for these guys. I'm looking after them, I think. Right, so people are going to be after houses soon, but for now it's industry. So I'm going to bung some more areas for the industrial zone. Right, so my main concern now is this industrial zone. There's only one way in or out. So what I might do, I might sort of add in a junction, like a... I don't know where I want to go, actually. I could go down... Yeah, I might start building in some of this area as industrial as well. So I think, actually, while I'm here, I can demolish these towers. So those pylons weren't needed because everything's connected now. I'm going to build that road down to here and then I'm going to add in another junction just so it gives another route through. I might also come off here and sort of do another. All right, so I'm trying to just keep this a bit interesting. I don't just want to do straight grids. It's not really how we do it in the UK either. So I will just make some of these. All right, so I need to make sure we've got, got water and electricity down here. And up here, because I forgot about this area. All right, so electricity is everywhere. It's a bit low, so I might up the old budget again. All right, so water, I'm just going to bung it under this road. Right, so we, they really want some houses. So I'm going to put in some new roads over here. I'm going to sort of, rather than doing that pattern, I'm going to sort of do this curve, because I quite like that. It's a little bit different. I'm just going to go like to the backs of these. So I'm going to do like this as a little segment type thing. So I'm going to take that. All right, so I think I've filled that in fairly nicely. We're going to need to put the old drainage in. So, so we'll keep it under the road, obviously. I don't know if there's a benefit to connecting these back up. You get this kind of nice noise that sounds like you've done something good. So who knows? I'll connect those up as well. Right, so everyone's short of workers, and that's because I haven't got enough people, so I need to quickly paint. So paint these residential bits in. I don't know if there's a quick way. Doesn't seem to be. But this will do for now, I guess. Just doing it by hand. And these are really in demand, so these are going to go up quick, I reckon. Right, so while they're filling in, i got to look at the people's needs. So it looks like there's a lot of burglars. I assume that's what those symbols are. So I'm going to get a police station. I need to place it somewhere that everyone will be looked after. I think, to be honest, I could do with it being sort of there. So I'm going to destroy those houses. Sorry, but look how happy everyone else is. So crime rate is still quite low. Capacity for the jail is fine, obviously. Oh, OK, so I've just been told a building burnt down. So I definitely need fire station. I think I might just put that next to the police station. So that sort of does the residential area. I'm going to put another one up here. Although they are bloody expensive. They're still really high risk up here. So yeah, I am going to put one. I'm going to put it in there. All right, so no electricity up here, which means I'm going to have to add in a few more turbines, I think. Why aren't you moving? <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, I think as well for traffic, it might be worth just losing one of these homes and putting a road through there. So sorry guys, but, but you're going to have to go. So they're not going to be happy because they know a road next to their house. But look, you got a nice corner plot now. Like, look at this guy. That's a huge garden. Like, that's all yours now, basically. Right, so it looks like we got everything back under control. Everything's in low demand. Electricity's good. Water's good. Garbage is good. And we are a tiny town. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to leave that there. And I hope you've enjoyed that. So next time we're going to carry on. I'm going to try and go into a bit more like detail in sort of the areas. Because we're only at the very start of the game. So I've just been sort of flying through trying to get, trying to unlock some more stuff. So yeah, we'll have a little look at what we managed to get done. So we've got a sort of, got a one way system the whole way around. We've got a huge residential area now. It's all quite nice and green, lots of trees about. And then over here, we've got all of our sort of commercial stuff on the main road. Oh, they like their burgers. Good advertising. <laughs> and over here, we've got the industrial area, which uh, 
seems to be burning down. Oops. And yeah, all the sort of the nasty side of living over here. Still after workers, which I think is because we don't have education. So we'll have to sort that out next time. But yeah, really enjoyed that, guys. Let me know what you think. Of course, I'm going to go into lots more detail about how I do all this stuff in real life. But for now, I just thought it'd be a nice little introduction to the game. And the start of Engertopia. Right, peace, love, and bridges. Oh, I have to build a bridge. I'm excited about that. Catch you next time, guys. Bye.